Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and I'm pretty excited. I've got for you an overview of Mailbox. Now, if you haven't heard of Mailbox, essentially it's a brand new concept. It's a new um, it's a new app. It's essentially an email client. Now, it syncs with Gmail only as far as I know, but think of it as a cross between Sparrow and the multitasking app Clear. Um, now, you can see I've got a list of emails here. Now, what you need to do is, obviously, if you want to read them, you just touch on it and you read it, but the beauty of this app is that you can get rid of it or archive it or schedule it to remind you to read it again later um, very easily with a set of really simple gestures. Now, if I slide this across, then the green tag just says that it's been read and it will find itself in here, in the archive, um, and if you slide it across it will turn green and go, oh, sorry, turn green, it will go red and you'll get across and obviously that just deletes the email. So. If I want to archive something, I can just slide this across and it goes green and I'll archive it. And if I just touch the archive button, you can see all my archive emails will be in there. Um, now you can swipe them the other way. Um, the yellow one comes up with this option whereby you can remind yourself at any point next week, in a month, tomorrow, this evening, later today, this weekend, or pick a date and you can choose it uh, when you want, how long you want to snooze it for. And that's that. Uh, if you go all the way across, um, you can slide it, you can put it into a new list. Um, P, like for instance, I get a lot of emails from PR companies, so I'll put that in the PR list. Um, and that will find its way in there and I can go back to it at any point just by selecting this left tab and going into my lists. And you can see what's in there. And I, at the moment, obviously, I've got nothing. Now, this is the rest of the menu on the left hand side. You can again, you can access your sent emails, your archive, your trash. Um, you can go into your mailbox, which has got all your mail in it. Uh, or you can change settings. So one of the ones I changed straight away was the badge count. At one point it was showing an inbox conversion count, which means that it just showed absolutely every email that I've got in my inbox. It was like eight and a half thousand emails. Uh, but if you just wanted to notify you when you've got something you haven't read in there, you can do that. Or you can choose not to have it shown at all. Now there is one negative if you hadn't already heard with this email system. Um, you need to get in line. If you haven't reserved a spot in line to use it then you can't actually get access to it right now. I was fortunate because I contacted PR a long time ago. They reserved me a spot in the line very kindly of them just so I could show you it. Um, but if you haven't already reserved a spot in the line you need to do that. There's something like 200,000 people in there. so. Essentially, you have to wait until you can get access to this. The app is free, you don't have to pay for it, it's really easy to use, and it's possibly the best thing to happen to emails forever. It's just frustrating. Um, it's just frustrating that so many people are having to wait for it. So there you go, that's Mailbox. If you like it, uh, hit the App Store link just below, and you can try it out. But again, make sure you get reserved quickly, otherwise you're gonna be waiting a long time. I will see you again soon.